What's up everybody? This is Mustafa with some reviews. We are going to take a look back at and uh, do a long term review of the first generation of Surface Pro, Surface Pro X before the newer version is available for purchase. This was the first Surface computer released with an ARM CPU. ARM CPUs are mostly used in mobile devices like cell phones and they are usually optimized to have better battery life and a quicker workup and be always on. Compared to Intel and AMD CPUs, they are a little weaker, but they give you a better battery life. Our model comes with a Microsoft SQ1 CPU, which was made in collaboration with Qualcomm, 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of SSD. And it used to cost $1,799.99. But with the release of the newer model, which will be available for purchase on October 13, 2020, Microsoft is selling them at a discounted price of $1,598. Keep in mind that you have to pay around 270 extra dollars for the keyboard cover and the pen. In this video, we will talk about the ARM processors, the differences between the old model and the new one, and we will do a long term review, a one year re review essentially, on the older generation of Surface Pro X, and we will see how it will hold up compared to the competition. And eventually we will investigate whether it is worth buying an older model for a discounted price or not. First up, let's talk about the aesthetics of the device. This is definitely the best looking Microsoft tablet out there. Because of the ARM processor and impressive cooling, it is also the thinnest Microsoft tablet out there. It comes with two USB, two USB-C ports compared to the one on the Surface Pro 7, uh, which are capable of charging as well and no legacy USB or USB-A port compared to the one that is already on Surface Pro 7. It also has a charging port on the side as well. And on the side you will get the power button and also the volume control buttons. But a huge bummer to me was the lack of any headphone jack. There is no headphone jack anywhere to be found on this device. It is equipped with a gorgeous 13 inch pixel sense displays. This is the name Microsoft gives to its displays. It's, it's a very beautiful display. It's the largest, uh, it has the largest display on a Surface tablet. And it is it comes included with Windows Hello for a more seamless login. But the best news for me is the fact that you will be able to upgrade the SSD. You just need a SIM card pin and you should be able to 
of course you need a, a, a screwdriver but you will be able to take the SSD out and then you will be able to upgrade it but you cannot use just any SSDs you should buy the SSD from Microsoft it, they these are a special kind of SSDs that I haven't seen out there myself yet but Microsoft is supposedly supposed to let you upgrade these and let you purchase these SSDs from them but other than that it has Gigabit LTE which is one of the perks of having an ARM CPU a Qualcomm CPU on your device and you can always plug in your SIM card to be able to have network on the go the second generation of Surface Pro X is identical to the first generation except for the color options so you will be able to purchase the second generation in a new color in a platinum color but the first generation only came in this matte black cover uh, a color that you can see right now new colors are also available for the keyboard cover the keyboard cover now comes in uh, red, blue, gray, and black. And for whatever reason, black is the cheapest one. Typing on this keyboard cover feels, feels like the regular Surface Pro, which to me is, is a horrible experience. And this is the sound you are going to hear when typing on the keyboard. I would say I wish Microsoft would have redesigned this keyboard cover. I wish they'd do it in the near future and include a little more travel distance and a less wobbly keyboard. I wish they change the design in a way that the keyboard will be a little more stable. You essentially cannot put this on your lap. It will, you won't be able to use this as a laptop. There is no way. If you are like me and your work needs a lot of pen use, their pen is actually a phenomenal pen. As you can see, when you take the pen out, it automatically connects to the Microsoft Surface Pro X. You can actually tell the Microsoft which hands you use the most and you can, like, uh, you can launch the Microsoft keyboard using this button right here. I have to sign into the keyboard, so I'm not gonna launch the Microsoft keyboard, but you're gonna see the writing experience on this is pretty smooth. It is very good. It's, I definitely enjoy writing with this pen. I think this is the best, best experience you can get among the Windows tablets and laptops, a Windows writing, pen writing experience, but it would come nowhere near the Samsung and Apple's writing experience. I would definitely rather, I think the iPad Pro has the best writing experience. I would rather use that if I'm only buying this tablet for the writing experience. So as far as the aesthetics go, I will give the Surface Pro X, two thumbs up, which also applies to the second generation because it is identical to the first one. Camera and audio quality is always very good in Surface Pro tablets or in Surface devices in general compared to their Windows, their other Windows counterparts. The camera is always better than Apple's as well, but the recording quality especially in the later 2020 Apple models, is much, much better than the Surface Pro X. So what you're seeing right now is recorded on the Surface Pro X right now with the audio and the selfie camera of the Surface Pro X. I think the quality is among the best, if not the best, in laptops in general. Main camera quality is also very, very good, but I don't see many people using this main camera as their like photo shooting camera. Most people use their smartphone 
which definitely has a better quality camera, but this is a very decent quality. That ARM-based CPUs use ARM architecture instead of x86 used in Intel or AMD. So app developers have to recompile their apps to make them compatible with ARM. ARM compatible apps are a still very few. Even after one year of Microsoft pushing for uh, development of compatible ARM software. But there is a workaround. Microsoft has baked an emulator in Windows that can run 32-bit apps on ARM architecture, which is fine most of the time unless you are dealing with a memory intensive application. 32-bit 32-bit apps are only able to utilize 4 GB of RAM. With SQ2 processor, Microsoft has promised to create an emulator that can run 64-bit apps. This sounds like a good news, but in reality is not the best news ARM fans want to hear. Emulation is still emulation. A lot of bugs and laggy performance is all but guaranteed. The new processor is supposed to be faster and accompany a better GPU, other no 690 that is. But, and that is a huge but, it will not be available in entry level options. So if you decide to go with a low end option, you will end up paying $1,000 at least for a year old device. If that's the option you are looking at, I would recommend buying a used one off of eBay. You can pay the same price for, your, for a higher level first generation model. All in all, I would not recommend counting on Microsoft to deliver on its promises. Microsoft promised last year to make sure you won't see apps in the Microsoft Store that are not compatible with your tablet. But this is the message you constantly see in the Microsoft Store. She essentially tells you that x84 apps cannot run on your PC. That is one of the reasons you don't see that many benchmarkings on Microsoft Surface Pro X because most of the benchmarking softwares are 64-bit software. So you, there is no way you can install them on the Microsoft Surface Pro X, at least the first generation. So based on the fact that Microsoft has not followed on its own promises, I will not count on the promise of better 32-bit emulation and a seamless 64-bit emulation that Microsoft is already talking about. So I would say stay away from this product as much as possible until there are more R-focused apps available. If you absolutely, absolutely must buy an ARM device for a weird reason, wait for an ARM-based Mac or buy an older and way cheaper device, ARM device, like the Lenovo Yoga C630 WOS. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel if you like our content and you can watch more of our videos using the provided links.